Hello and thank you for joining me, Alex Kleiser with Cobalt Banker Vaughn and Company Realtors in Richmond, Virginia for your November 2013 real estate market update. So let's jump right in here to the first slide and this is what's happened here in Richmond last month. Uh, broken up into different price ranges and you know as we can see as a market as a whole at the end of the month we had 4,490 homes active for sale. And last month we had 735 homes go under contract, you know, new pending sales. And then 1,059 properties actually sold and closed, you know, properties that had gone under sale, uh, under contract in the last you know, 30 to 60 days. And if we take a look and you know, put that data onto the graph of you know, we've been tracking here over the last couple of years, uh, we can see last month in September you know, we had 4,818 homes for sale. So the active number of homes have actually dropped a good amount, um, you know, almost 400 or so properties here in the area. So with inventory going down, we can see that the new sales dropped a little bit as well. September, we had 834, October 735. And uh, you know, taking a look and comparing this to what's been happening nationally, you know, we can see a very similar trend. Uh, we can see that in the springtime, you know, we had a decent amount of homes increase in the amount that we're selling every month and then as we got into late summer early fall august september uh, the amount of pending homes have dropped nationally as well so we're seeing a very you know common trend nationally to what we're seeing here in richmond and well you know, what exactly does that mean well if we take a look at what thomas poik thinks uh, he's the research director for housing pulse survey that the emerging slowdown is really just largely seasonal and then going over what Stan Humphrey's chief economist for Zillow is, you know, if homes valued continue to rise as they had so far here in 2013, relatively unchecked, we'd most certainly be headed into another bubble cycle. Nobody wants that. You know, the moderati moderation and should help consumers feel more at ease in their decisions to buy and sell, and, and this will keep the market balanced. So, you know, sales slowing down a little bit, you know, could be very seasonal reason to it, but you know, if we're looking out long term, you know, what's going to be happening in the real estate market, uh, the Home Price Expectation Survey, you know, this past quarter, <clears throat> which is, they surveyed 100 of the top real estate and real estate related people here in the country, you know, put all of their data together, average it out, and we can see that over the next five years, we still see you know, expected to have a decent amount of appreciation, 4.3 in 2014, and then as we go to 2015 through 18, it's going to be closer to about three and a half, which you know, is about a normal market. You know, normal market, you see about 3% appreciation, you know, keeping up with inflation. This will be slightly above that. And if we look at all that data kind of <clears throat> compared to different brackets, the bulls versus the bears, even the bears, the most pessimistic of people, over the next five years, 16.8% still puts it at over a 3% appreciation. So the long-term outlook of the real estate market here in the United States is still looking very, very good. Now, even with a you know, small seasonal downturn here, I personally would expect things to pick back up pretty dra dramatically once we get past uh, into January 2014. So thank you so much for joining. This is Alex with Cobalt Banker Vaughn & Company Realtors. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email anytime. Thanks.